Hello again and welcome to another segment of the Audio 300 featuring Eric Vandenberg, Vice President of Cybersecurity at TCDI based out of Cleveland, Ohio. Shout out to LeBron James. I had a chance to speak with Eric today, not LeBron James, uh, surrounding security concerns when clients are moving from an on-prem solution into a cloud solution, um, everything surrounding that, their cloud strategy, their security strategy, and what he's seeing on a day-to-day basis in his role. I know I took a lot of great value away from it. Hopefully, all the listeners will as well. Stay tuned. Hey, yeah, I'm here with Eric Vandenberg, uh, Vice President Cybersecurity at TCDI. Um, I will let him kind of have the floor and uh, introduce himself. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, I have. The TCDI is a cybersecurity consulting, e discovery, and computer forensics firm. So I manage our uh, our division of cybersecurity consulting, doing things like penetration testing and uh, cybersecurity assessments, uh, compliance work. Uh, audits and assessments, and uh, incident response. So it's uh, an interesting area. I've been with this company for uh, over 10 years. Definitely love what I do, and uh, and looking forward to our conversation today. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you on. I appreciate you taking the time, and I think, you know, as we discussed early on, um, you know, we would love to get uh, some real-life feedback from you as you're seeing this type of stuff every day. Um, you know, the, the topic today around security and really what you're seeing um, out there and, and what you do, obviously it's uh, at the forefront and, and all of the news and kind of, you know, breaches and whatnot that are happening. And so today I'd, I'd really like to get your feedback on, you know, uh, security in the cloud as folks are moving to more, more and more cloud solutions uh, every day. Um, what does that look like from a security perspective? Um, what are what are some concerns for, for clients and, and who you work with and really, um, you know, anything that you can speak to um, in terms of what you're working on and whatnot uh, would be great to, to hear about. Sure. It's, it's definitely a broad topic, you know, security in the cloud. But we've seen a shift over the last few years in, in the way that uh, companies do business and, and how they use technology. So uh, where there once was the on-premise equipment, the data centers, the, the key staff, uh, that all had to be in support of the applications that were in support of the business objective. Now companies are able to uh, go out and, and utilize the cloud. Uh, an application is pretty much ready to go. All you do is pay for it and start using it. And this has made the companies much more agile. Uh, it's allowed them to uh, utilize many more services and to do it quicker. Uh, but it's come with some caveats. Uh, it's helped in security in many ways. Uh, it kind of exposed some of the uh, things we, we never really knew were going on, at least from the business owner perspective, in uh, security. But when you start moving data to the cloud, you suddenly realize these are important topics. Uh, uh, systems would communicate back in the, uh, in the data center. And the communication may not be encrypted or uh, you're advertising ports and ways, ways to communicate with different devices that certainly would be unacceptable when you start moving up into the cloud. So you integrate these services from multiple different cloud vendors and they come up with a secure way of doing that communication, of exchanging all the information that's needed. And uh, some of that's trickled back down into the enterprise in uh, private cloud offerings or even with some of the, uh, you know, the legacy uh, on-premise installs. Got it. Yeah, and you and you had mentioned earlier, um, you know, something that was kind of top of, top of mind and what you were working on uh, currently. Can you um, you know maybe speak to that a little bit? For sure, I'm actually working on a, uh, a book right now with McGraw Hill for the um, CompTIA Cloud Plus certification. So it went through a revamp, uh, kind of right along with these changes in the way cloud is perceived and utilized by companies. The uh, you know this is actually the second edition of the exam. So the first one was focused on those who were providing cloud services. And now, because the cloud is so ubiquitous, it's, uh, it's more focused on uh, not only those who are providing the services, but how are we utilizing them within companies and integrating them with existing processes and procedures and technology in a way that's, uh, that's secure and flexible and, uh, and beneficial. And is there, is there one kind of glaring area, um, you know, as you get involved with a client early on, is there, you know, maybe 
what, what's top of the list when it comes to, hey, you know, we're, we're looking at your, your security practices, how you guys are doing things today. I know you're moving into a cloud solution. Um, is there one thing that kind of sits at the top of the list for you that you always touch on and, and kind of start with with clients? Or is it, um, you know, a, a, a slew of things that you need to go through to make sure that, you know, their security practices are in line? Uh, there's, there's probably a top ten, maybe not one. But there are some things that, that certainly come up quite frequently. Uh, one would be this, the data inventory, or, or some refer to it as the data map. Uh, you want to move your data to the cloud uh, or service to the cloud, and you want to understand, well, what do we actually have? Where does it exist right now? And many organizations don't really have that understanding. It's yeah. essential for compliance and for many other things, but uh, uh, it's kind of a first step in figuring out what do we have. Yeah. Just like an asset inventory. Now you do a data inventory. Makes sense. Yeah, I think that's, um, you know, a natural first step. And, and um, you know, I appreciate your time, Eric. I think that was great, great value um, to hear from somebody who's in it every day. Um, so we appreciate your time and, uh, and wish you the best. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks.